all right so here's my little bitty shop at home so i have my workstation here on a electric uh, moving desk i can move it up and down i have my the very first piece of equipment i bought was my Viver, vivor however you pronounce it vinyl cutter 34 inch 36 inch whatever it is um it works okay it got me started and it got me uh, going these are my settings for what i do um i'm not using this a whole lot anymore but if you're going to use it these are some pretty good settings to get you started i'll keep those on there so i don't forget i have my cameo 4 plus i really like it but what i want is graph tech and it'll do until i get the graph tech um, found this on the side of the road. I'm using it for my uh, vinyl rack right now. This is my cat condo where my cats like to hang out. I have my heat press, which is just a cheap one. It gets the job done right now. It already paid for itself easily. I need to replace this table with something a little bit higher. Um, I have my... I don't remember what brand this is, but it's a rotary cutter. It's 24 inches and it works really good. Has some storage down below all along this table. Have my uh, homemade dispenser for the laminate and it works good. I just pull it straight across here, use this as a template. Eight, a, eight and a half inches or however wide I want it 11 inches long here if I want to move it shorter but I can use this as basically like a jig um, have a hole where all my scrap material goes or all my waste material I have my Epson Colorworks C6500 AU uh, this thing's great I love it specifically made for high volume production of uh, labels you can do die cut roll labels square labels continual uh, roll label what I have in there right now is, is a three and a half inch continuous material it's it was 250 feet long when I got it so you can just cut it at whatever length you want um, this is what it looks like this is 250 feet of it right here this right here is roughly i think it was 150 dollars roughly for each one of these rolls it's not cheap but um you know it it's a lot of material and my 3d printer it's always handy to have this is a sogol sv01 it has the bo touch um was it 3D bed level or whatever the automatic bed leveling so it works great I love it I would upgrade to something else if I felt like I needed to upgrade but I don't feel like I need to works good for right now I might need a second 3D printer one day if I get enough you know business on that side of it um, I'm gonna end up putting a sublimation printer here right now I'm just drawing some stickers that I was making for a client I've got a hundred of these printed up, ready to cut in the morning. Whenever you're die cutting these stickers and you're not using something with a internal dryer, like a, if you're not using like a HP latex printer or something like that, then you're gonna wanna go ahead and let it dry for at least eight hours, um, most likely overnight if you can. I do all my cutting and everything over here. I have mats for the Cameo. I have three mats so that I can get them set up, you know, um, multiple setups so that I can just keep feeding them in the machine. I have a 24 inch laminator here, or 25 inch laminator. Extra tools and stuff that I need over here for that. I have a little shipping station over here, a little packaging and shipping station. Little extra stickers and stuff like that. Uh, not much to it, but this is my bag sealer. I have a bunch of just little bags that I use here that I bought a hundred of them of uh, their 
I think four inch wide by 16 inches long. I just cut them to length or whatever. It works great. Little guy for cutting corners. This thing works good. Um, these are the envelopes that I use, the mailers that I use. Haven't had any complaints yet about anything getting damaged. On my map here, I have arrows for every place that I shipped. It's not too many yet. I don't know, like 28 orders, something like that. But it's picking up. I'm getting orders about every two days at this point. So that's up from getting about one every few months. And I um, have my little homemade drying rack and just a bunch of little paper racks that I zip tied together on the side so that they don't fall over accidentally and make a huge mess. This is just a normal inkjet printer that I use for doing invoices and such. This is a Epson EcoTank printer that I converted over to EcoSolvent so that I can print my stickers with it. Um, I don't know. Uh, in my head, I, I wanted EcoSolvent ink for doing stickers. I don't know if I really need it, but that's what I'm running. And um, that's what I'm going to use until I can afford a HP, HP Latex. And this one is the ET2803. And that's really it for right now, guys. Got a whiteboard there for all ideas, a list of materials and stuff that I need. And there's not much else to it. So that's pretty much it for now. So I'll keep you guys updated as I keep growing and keep adding more equipment. Hopefully I'll be able to outgrow this room pretty soon and go to something else but that means moving to another building or getting a retail space or warehouse space something like that we'll see what happens guys um please like subscribe share anything you can do will help get me to the goal where i can eventually quit my job and do this full time i'll continue to make videos share information with y'all anything i can i want to help y'all do the same thing all right thanks Bye.